Welcome to Lyric Sync YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to making over a beautiful and appealing terminal so you can stick to your system for hours and hours as you will love to stay in it and be productive. In this video, we are going to discuss two different methods to customize your terminal. Number one, by using graphical user interface and number two, by using terminal commands. The reason to create this tutorial is to make your work more enjoyable and make it user friendly. As most people coming from Windows and the command line find it difficult and feel hesitant to go to the terminal because of the way it looks, but not anymore. Time to change the habit. Fasten your belts as we are going to another journey to change the path but with the same destination that is working in Linux. So guys, for the first and the very simplest way, all you need to do is open your terminal. You can open your terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T or simply you can right click and here is the option open in terminal. Once you will open your terminal, here you can see. Now the simplest way to customize your terminal is right click and here you can see an option which is preferences. Just click on that option. Guys you can see a lot of preferences here. A lot of tabs, a lot of options to customize your terminal. So we will explore them one by one and we will try our best to change or to customize our terminal beautifully. First, I'll click on this text tab and here I can see I have so many different options for text appearances like the initial terminal size, column size, row size. I can in fact change the custom. I can change the cell spacing, width and height. I can change the text style like it is blinking or not. I can change the shape of the cursor and blinking of the cursor. So let's play with it. So for initial terminal size, I will go with the default option as it is perfect for me. You can change it according to your need, according to your taste. And for columns and rows, I think it is perfectly fine to go with the default option. About allow blinking test, I'll go with the default option. So for cursor shape, there are options like block, I beam, underline. I'll go with the block option as according to me, it is more user friendly. And for cursor blinking, I'll go with the default option. Now go to the color scheme, my favorite part. So if you want to change the color scheme of your terminal, if you want to change the text color and background color of your terminal, here you should go. Okay, so for built-in schemes, I will go for solarized dark. Let's see how it looks. As you can see, it looks amazing. Well, you can change the color. Let's explore some else. And we have some light color options too. It is completely up to you which color do you want for your terminal. So uh, let's explore some light color and that is white on black. It is actually not a light color, but I actually try to white on black see. Okay, let's explore something else. So this time I'll try some light color that is solarized light. Okay, so you can see it is a sort of white and pink color like pinkish white you can see or whitish pink. Cool, but I'll go for the dark color as I personally like dark colors. So I'll go for the solarized dark. Now. I need to change the background color. For background color, let me see the scheme. I would go, I think, something like between green and black. So I think uh, green, black and yellow would be the best combo for me. So I'm going to select it. That is completely up to you. And about background, I think, I think this color is perfect for me. So I'm going to select it. And now I'm going to try it on my terminal. Let's write something. Yeah, it is working and I like it. So you can also change the text color if you want to. Let's do some other experiment. Let's change the text color from yellowish green to a bit blue. 
a light blue maybe yeah let me select it as you can see that on a dark background it is not visible so i'm gonna change it we should use some color which is visible on our terminal so for that i'm gonna use a bit reddish color let's see okay it is also not visible as you can see the best thing about customizing your terminal is you can play with it and you can choose what is best for you if you don't like the colors that are present here you can check this box use colors from style theme and then you can actually use colors from there and i have used this one now check it see it is visible on the terminal so i like it let's clear the screen from here you can change the built-in schemes that is completely up to you as i like the solarized color so i'll gonna select solarized here check this box too it will show the bold text and bright colors which will look appealing i believe so come to the next tab that is scrolling tab in scrolling tab you have different options about scrolling like show scroll bar scroll on output scroll on keystroke and limit of scroll back to up to 10000 lines so i will remain in default coming to the next tab that is command tab the command tab will allow you to run command as a login shell and run a custom command instead of my shell so i'll go with the default option and the working directly i have different options that shell only never always i'll go with the shell only option another option is when command exists and the options i have exit the terminal restart the command hold the terminal open so i think the command should exist when we exist the terminal so i'll let it remain the default option now about the compatibility option i'll let them remain the same by default the reason is that we don't need to change it as we are already satisfied with it the thing that i was very concerned about the thing that i wanted to change was my theme my color scheme so i'm happy with it and i'm okay with it so guys this was the simplest way this was a very easy way to change to customize your bash terminal in linux so now coming towards the next method that is by using terminal commands so for it open a configuration file that is bash rc file in the terminal using get it command to see what's present in it so let's go to the root directory write the get slash dot bash rc and press enter now this is a built-in configuration file known as bash rc file your bash prompt configuration is stored in your users account dot bash rc file which is here you can give it a look scroll down to ps1 section here is the ps1 section the first variable look rather complicated as you can see because it includes color information the second variable without color information reads as follow debian character root plus dollar debian character root u at the rate slash h semicolon slash w slash s this is still a little complicated due to the dollar debian ch root bits but these just tell bash to let you know if you are using a debian ch root environment and normally won't be shown ignoring those here's the default structure of bash prompt variable u at the rate slash h semicolon slash w slash dollar now what is this slash u indicates your username at the rate sign indicates the at the rate sign slash h indicates the host name computer name semicolon includes the character slash w indicates the working directory and slash dollar indicates a dollar if you are a normal user account or hash if you are a root user so putting up that all together you get username at rate host name semicolon working directory dollar 
To change your batch prompt, you just have to add, remove or rearrange the special characters in the PS1 variable. But there are many more variables you can use than the default ones. Leave the text editor for now. Now I will show you how to experiment with the variables before actually writing a new one into your .bash RC file. So the first thing that we were going to do is that how to create a custom bash prompt. As you know that your bash prompt configuration is stored in the PS1 variable. To save the contents of the PS1 variable into a new variable, run the following command. Default equal to dollar ps1 and press enter. You can now set the ps1 variable to different values to experiment. For example, the first command here would set your prompt to a basic user dollar prompt. So for that, write ps1 equal to double quotation slash u slash s press enter. Here you can see this command set my prompt to a basic user prompt. Now try another command ps1 equal to slash u semicolon slash w slash dollar hit enter. Now you can see this command set my prompt to a basic user working directory prompt. So that is how you can play with the different commands. Now if you ever want to get back to your default prompt, as you can see this is not my default prompt as I have changed it by using commands. So if you ever want to get back to your default prompt, just run the following command. ps1 equal to dollar default press enter and you can see here is my old default prompt. Bash will be restored to its default prompt Thanks to the fact that I have saved those default settings earlier. You can also save your default settings earlier so you can play with the codes and it won't affect your terminal. Note that any changes you make here are only temporary for the current bash session. So you can always sign out and sign back in or close and reopen the terminal window to go back to your default prompt. But the above coding makes it possible to easily get back to your default bash prompt without the hassle of signing out or closing a window. You can add any character or text to the variable so prefix the default prompt with hello world you could use ps1 is equal to ps1 the variable in which your batch rc file stored ps1 is equal to double quotation hello world slash u at the rate slash h semicolon slash w slash dollar double quotation as we have already known the meanings of the slash u at the rate slash h slash w and slash dollar press enter and here you can see that it have added the hello world prefix so now if you wanted to add the date and time to your bash prompt and put the working directory on command on a second line you can also do that so for that all you need to do this write this command I'm pasting it from the text editor file. I'll share the link below so you can also copy paste commands. Paste it here. As you can see, it included the date and the time to our bash prompt. Now simply press enter. And here you can see the day I'm recording this video is Tuesday and the date is June 1st. So you can see I have added the date and the time to my bash prompt. There is one more powerful trick you should know about. You can add the output of any command to the prompt. Whenever the prompt appears, bash will run the command and fill in the current information. To do this, just include any command you want to run between the two grave accent. As you can see, it's gonna show me the addition of Linux. So every time when I'll run this command, it will show this on my prompt. The command between the two characters, these characters are not apostrophe, that's a grave accent which appears above the tab key on your keyboard. Now I'm gonna show you how to add colors to your bash prompt. But before that, keep few things in your mind. The first thing, codes for text format. 0 for normal text, 1 for bold, 3 for italic and 4 for underline text. The color range for background colors lie between 40 to 47 and the color range for text color lie between 30 to 37. In order to change the font and color, write this command and press enter. As you can see that it changed the color of my prompt to a red color. In the following command, I have assigned the background color first, 
then the text style and then the font color followed by M. So all you have to do is play around with the part that is 41, 3 and 32. 41 for the background color, 3 for the text style and 32 for the font color. As I told you earlier, the codes for text format is 0 for normal text, 1 for bold, 3 for italic and 4 for underlined text. The rest of the command should remain the same. You just need to assign different numbers to change the background color, text style and text color. Note that this is no particular order. You can assign the text style first, background color next and the text color at the end. The following command that I have done right now temporarily customizes the bash prompt for the current session. If you close the session, you will lose the customization. So to make this a permanent change, you need to add it to the bash rc file. This is a configuration file that loads up every time you load up a session. But I don't want to save these changes permanently, so I am going to close it. And now I am going to open it again. As you can see, it have restored my previous and default changes. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video and it helped you to clear your concept about bash terminal customization and now you can customize your terminal according to your desires. If you need any help, reach out to us in the comments below. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet our channel, then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get notifications of our upcoming videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.